Hello, this is Robert with eGauge Systems, and in this video, I want to give you a very brief overview about our eGauge energy monitors, as well as explain the differences between the three different models that we offer so you can choose the best one for your application. Let's get started. E-gauge energy meters are unique because they're really like three devices in one unit. You have the actual energy meter, you have a data logger, and you have a web server all built into the same device. That means that your information is not only stored on the device, but is also accessed there as well. So as long as these are connected to a network or the internet, you can access that information directly, and you don't need any cloud services or any software subscriptions. Everything can be accessed directly from the unit. Each device can be used with many different types of power systems, including split phase, single phase, or even three phase. You can also power this over DC, anywhere from 9 to 60 volts, if you want to use it on a DC only system. In addition, the sensor ports up front allow you to measure a wide range of current using different types of current sensors, and you can do numerous different calculations inside the unit itself for various power calculations. As long as each device is connected to either a network or the internet, you can connect directly to it and view both historic and live data using the included web interface. If you don't want to use the web interface and want to integrate directly with an existing software solution that you have, you can just simply use our API. For either option, there is no subscription and there's no ongoing fees for using either of these options. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the eGauge energy meter is and what it can do. So now let's talk about the difference between the three different models. The main differences between them are going to be two things. You're going to have the number of sensor inputs and also the communication methods. If we start over here at the eGauge core, this is our most basic meter. It has 15 inputs and it only connects over Ethernet. If we move up to the eGauge core residential, it has the same feature set as the core, but now adds power line or home plug communication. Power line communication is just a very simple way of communicating data across your existing power lines or your AC lines. This is very handy for residential applications where you might not be able to or want to run an ethernet cable directly into the unit, you can just use power line communication instead. This is really only recommended for a residential application. It really doesn't work as well for a commercial application. We generally recommend ethernet where possible. Then we have the eGauge Pro, which has 30 sensor inputs and also power line communication. So this kind of has everything. And if you need the most number of sensor inputs, the Pro is a good choice. And it is really geared towards commercial applications where you need as many sensor inputs as possible. Aside from the number of sensor inputs and the communication methods, all of the other hardware on these three devices is the same. So they can all use the same sensors for the input. So you can use a rope CT, you can use a split core CT, a DC CT, or any number of our environmental sensors that work with these meters. There's really no difference in hardware between them, and they all have the same warranty and accuracy rating. Hopefully this video gives you a better idea of some of the capabilities of the eGauge energy meter and the differences between the three models that we carry. Of course, this is just a brief overview. There's a lot more features and specs. So I encourage you to check below in the description for links to the full spec sheet and manual so you can get a better idea if these are the right products for your application. And of course, if you have any additional questions, you can comment down below in the video or contact our sales or support department and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.